Hey guys, Golden Rapper PS3 here, and today I'm going to show you how to make something like this using Blender and JMC2 OBJ. Okay. So I'm guessing you probably have a little experience with using Blender, and if not, you should go check out some Blender tutorials online. Okay. So the first thing you want to download is JMC2 OBJ. So I'll put the link in the description if you want, but it's on, just right here. You can just Google it, and it's the first link. You also need Blender, so just go to blender.org, click on Blender, go to Download, and then choose your uh, operating system. Okay, first thing we're going to do, open JMC to OBJ with Java. So, choose a save you want to render. I'm going to choose this one. So, to move through this interface, um, you're going to want to right click, and then to select a selection, you can just right or left click and drag. So, let's wait for this to render. And this part right here is not rendered yet, so I'm going to go boot up Minecraft. Okay. so well. So let's just head over here and render it out. Okay, that didn't work well. Oh well, we'll just do something like that. So, load it again. And then make your selection. So left click and then drag. Once you've got your selection, click export selection. Let's save it to my desktop. And then I'll just save it as test. Exit out. And as you can see, it, it created an OBJ file that you're able to import into Blender. It also created the objects file, which is the MTL file. So we do Blender, uh, delete the object, um, now let's go to File, Import, Wavefront.obj, let's go to my desktop, and then open up your obj file. It may vary depending on the size, and anytime, if you're able to speed something up, just go to File, User Preferences, System, Then check VBL. And then if you want to save as default. And that'll make it much faster if you have a slow computer running Blender. Okay, so first we're gonna start off by moving the camera to your position that you want that you want in render. So I'm just gonna move mine to my position that I like it. If you want, if the camera's too small, you can see right here, it says Scale Manipulator Mode. You can do that, click on this, and then drag this red one out, so that's easier for you to grab. Click back on the mouse one to set its position again. You can navigate by clicking middle mouse, and then you can move things by right clicking, but we're not going to do that. So you can also rotate it by using this tool right here. Click on the rotation tool and drag it. I'm going to 
focus on that little tower right there. Or attempt to. selected. Go to the lamp tab, click on sun, and you want to check sky. Uh, I like to use the classic sky, so it looks more real. And you can play around with these settings, but I like to keep it at default. And so, now you can press F12 to render. And that looks a little bad. So we're going to want to go to camera, scene, or actually world, my bad. We're going to go to ambient occlusion and check that. You can play around with this, but I like to keep it as de uh, be default, and then render it again. But you can render it by pressing F12. And there's your render. That's a basic render. Uh, you can play around with the uh, ambient inclusion, environment lighting settings if you want. Just keep hitting F12 and playing around with your settings. And then I'm going to make a tutorial on how to do water, reflective water. And so I'll put that link in the description once I've done it. That's how, this is how to render a basic format of your save. Thanks for watching. Bye.